What is up tubes? We're back for a new series. This is my Olympia Prep 2023. And with this new like kind of vlog format, I want it to be a little bit more like scheduled. So every week we're gonna kind of do something new, but then we're gonna roll it back the next week. So we're gonna have different segments. Um, one of the segments this week, we're gonna do an Amazon purchase. And I'm gonna rate the Amazon purchase that I buy for you guys, let you know if I like it or if I don't. And I'm gonna be brutally honest. Um, going forward, we're gonna do some more um, supplements regime. So supplements that I take, stuff that Matt takes, um, whether I'm affiliated with it or not, um, we're gonna really like dip into that. And we're gonna obviously do training and I'm gonna show you like my food, all that kind of stuff um, as the weeks go on because right now, you know, I'm still kind of um, in the same food phase so there's not really much to show. I'm excited for this new series because I just like showing my life with you guys and I know you guys appreciate it so it makes filming that much easier for me knowing that the stuff that I put out there and I, I do really like your guys' feedback so yeah keep that up because <laughs> it keeps me motivated to post. Without further ado, the new series Olympia Prep 2023. Let's go! guys we're here at Gold's Gym we're gonna be doing a back workout and I'm starting with some pull-ups so let's get into it I'm already like warmed up a bit so this is like my last set here <laughs> typically hold and you like row long and wide into your hip here. See how my feet are stance? Well, if I'm grabbing this bar, I want to stand a little closer together here, pull up, use this hand to brace, get this stretch here, and drive up. Stretch, drive up, and I'm bracing all on here. He told me it's not like a balancing act. You don't have to be all like holding yourself up, trying to get it. Brace yourself and drive. Same with on this arm. Brace, drive. Game changer.
So I really like this machine because I can go like isolateral one at a time. And one, it doesn't crush my chest because I sit back on it a little bit. But also like even if you didn't have like fake boobs like you, just watch how I position myself. You get like a really good stretch. And then as, as I come down, I can get a good squeeze too. So I have the seat all the way to the top here. So the, the arm I'm pulling with, I put that foot up. And then I take this hand and brace here, and I kind of stretch forward. So my chest isn't even touching. And then... crunch into it. Not crunch, but like I want to just feel that squeeze at the bottom there. Right, guys big news here you guys know I've been pumping the Adela Garcia show in Austin Texas which is June 3rd so Adela is like a huge inspiration to me um, when I was growing up I always watched her um, she was someone I wanted to like emulate in the fitness division so it's really cool that her and I are partnering for her very first IFBB fitness pro show now she's had her Adela Garcia classic show for many years now but she's never done a pro part of the show so it's really cool that she asked me to help out with it and um, again you guys know I'm sponsoring the prize money so it's really cool to be able to give back to the sport I love so much and the sport that has allowed me to like make a career um, with online coaching um, you know winning the Miss Fitness Olympia twice and the Arnold Classic twice it's just kind of like a full circle now um, so I'm, I'm really excited to be going to Austin Texas in two weeks here and I wanted to do something really special for the athletes. And Matt and I have been, you know, corresponding with a local trophy guy here in Washington since February. So basically when Adela asked me if I wanted to help with the show, I was like, yeah, let's do like a fucking kick ass. <laughs> let's, <laughs> okay, let's do like a really kick ass trophy. So check this out guys. Oh yeah, baby, look at that. I have to back up to get the whole trophy. <laughs> Incredible, it's even better in person. Yeah. I off the video. Like. So, what's really like special about this trophy is that this is me, obviously, right? <laughs> and it is from my first Olympia win. Um, and it's me hitting the toe touch there. So it's just, it's, it's like a proud moment for me to be able to do something like really cool um, where it's like my first Olympia win and then I'm able to do like a really awesome trophy for the fitness winner at Adela's show. Um, I can't wait. Two weeks, bringing that bad boy. Someone's gonna win it. Someone's gonna win the money. And uh, yeah, I I'm so excited. It's the coolest trophy I've ever seen. It I mean, really is. Yeah, I mean, you've won some cool trophies, but... Yeah. This thing will be the centerpiece of any 
And there's like some Olympians there. Yeah. Like there's some legit people coming. Yep. And like this will be the center. This could be the centerpiece of their like trophy wall. Oh, for which sure. Which is cool. Let's for reference. Let me just put it on the ground so that you can see like actually how big it is. There you go. Next to Athena. <laughs> Wiener dog. <laughs> like that's crazy, right? Yeah, it's huge. Yeah. Uh, Whoever wins it can be like this. Yeah. It's, got, it's a two-hander trophy, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you know, um, we're going to have fun with the girls backstage. I can't wait to see Adela. I fly in on the Thursday. Um, I'll be at the meet and greet on the Friday. And then Saturday is the show day. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait. Oh, and like LSR is going to be there, my tanning sponsor. So it'll be cool to like see all those people and uh, yeah, just lots going on. Lots to be excited for in the next couple weeks. What's up, Tubes? I'm here with your man, Miguel. The torture room guy. Yeah. So we're going to do um, like an hour session today. Yeah. Hour session. Um, probably work mostly on like the upper back area and neck because I've been doing, you guys know my tubes, I've been doing a lot of like fitness practices. So I'm, I've, I've seen that. I've yeah. seen it. You're, you're getting crazy on this. Weighted vest and everything. Yeah. That's intense. So you can tell like I'm kind of, it like bogs me down. So I'm like feeling it a lot like up in this area. But yeah. Really so, exciting. and I know a lot of people do reach out to me that follow Missy's, uh, you know, content and always ask, like, what is it that I do for Missy or how is it that I treat her? Like, I keep up with all of her stuff, but we do communicate, you know, throughout the month just to see what's going on. And when I notice she's like leveling up her fitness, I know she's stressing the muscles out way too much, and that's when we do some real good work and uh, get things, get her back on the right track so she doesn't fall apart. <laughs> Which she will. <laughs> you ready to do it? Let's do it. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Here we're working on a rotator cuff muscle, the infraspinatus. So this guy right here, we're working it in two different ways, up and down and crossways. This muscle here helps stabilize the shoulder, especially during the lateral flexion. If this guy gets too fixated, it's gonna cause neck tension here because the levator muscle is then gonna be too overactive and cause neck tension here anytime you're doing a shoulder movement. So taking care of your rotator cuff muscles is always a must, especially when you're dealing with heavy weights, you know? So that's what we're doing today. here are called the scaly muscles. It's a group of three heads, but they attach to the ribs, only ribs one and ribs two, all the way around. So having uh, tight scaly muscles can cause limitation with the shoulder movement, range of motion, even like aches and pains. Since this muscle does get contracted with head movement and with shoulder movement, we can feel that that muscle contracts both ways, so this is a must to hit, even when working with the shoulder. Because I've been like training, because I've been training like really heavy right now, specifically like overhead presses, it's just wearing down, you know, that's why Miguel is giving me this specific treatment right now to just take care of like those problem areas. All right, uh, here we're working the bicep. Now, it causes shoulder tension or elbow tension, either one, oh, or it could cause acute pain. And it could be during a push or a pull. So let's say somebody's doing a push motion like bench. You would feel more tension here, but at a pulling motion for tight lats, you will find the, the bicep tighter closer to the elbow, which can cause um, that pain, that pinching pain you would find either here or here. So, you know, the bicep, take on so much damage all the time, working all the time, and you never feel it here, you're always gonna feel it in the joint. Yeah, I'm holding up. I'm gonna start getting work done on my back. <laughs> 
this movement all the time where I'm working the upper fibers of the pec, thinking I'm working the pec major, but I'm really targeting the pec minor. And those, those fibers run up and down from the rib cage to the shoulder blade. So when that's aggravated, it puts too much tension on the shoulder blade, rolling the arm forward, the shoulder forward too much. So as they try to do any movement this way, there's constant tension here, which is gonna put tension here or here because of the, the displacement it puts on the shoulder blade. The pec minor is what I'm targeting. into the neck and even into the scaly muscle into the neck. All this helps with shoulder mobility, releasing neck tension, and even helps uh, with the diaphragm just expand a little bit more. So breathing should be a whole lot better as well. All that. I honestly feel like my neck is a lot better. Just like looser. Yeah, so yeah, we don't know when we'll work with Missy again, hopefully soon. So I always keep up on her training. I watch all her stuff. So, and if anybody knows, Torch Room is in Las Vegas at the Dragon Slayer Gym. So, and we did just start a YouTube channel called the Torch Room Theory, where I spit out information of how I work with the elite IFBB pros. So, like Missy Trust on everybody else. I will tag um, Torture Room Theory in the description so you guys can just like click it and then see um, all of your videos that you're posting on YouTube. And if you aren't following Miguel on Instagram, make sure you follow him at... The Torture Room, yeah. <laughs> The next stop for the torch room will be uh, Nashville, Tennessee in five weeks. Oh, cool. Yeah, five weeks, Nashville, Tennessee in Carbon Performance Gym, Carbon Culture. Cool, all right. Yeah, blowing up. Just trying to get as big as Missy. Mr. Worldwide. Let's hit, let's hit a front double bicep. Mr. Worldwide, oh, yeah. All right, I, guys. I'm trying. <laughs> let's see ya. You guys know that I love my babies. And I do walk them a lot. They get a lot of exercise, but I never really take them like out in public just because it's hard to like put them in the vehicle, especially both of them. They're so little that they just expect to be on my lap all the time. And that's so dangerous. I was taking Athena to her vet appointment two weeks ago and even though she had hurt her back she was still trying to like get in my lap when we were driving and I'm like okay I can't do this anymore this is a lot I need like a safer route so I went on Amazon and I got two dog car seats they're basically like dog beds and they have um, like cushion and like a little belt latch so that they're basically like two little dog beds that can securely fasten onto your seat and then they have a little leash that will hook onto you know their harness or collar so that god forbid if there was like a car accident both athena and leo would be securely in that dog bed um i think this is really important especially now that like i want to take them places i don't want them sitting on my lap or distracting me i'm going to show you guys how i install these doggy car seats in my car. So let's get out there, let's do this.
be super careful when you cut these vacuum seal bags. We got a memory foam mattress like two months ago and I was unpacking the mattress and I accidentally hit the vacuum seal and literally within the like a blink of an eye, the whole mattress went boom and it like exploded right in front of me. And it was the scariest thing ever. This mattress was like rolled up so small, like I can't even like maybe like this big and it freaking exploded to like eight feet long. Like it was, it literally could have knocked me out. I was so scared. <laughs> oh yeah, this is not bad at all. Okay. Looks like we got little pieces here that we just are going to stuff into the dog bed here. Oh, this is nice. This is good because, um, you know, if the dog had an accident, you could take the cushion out and then wash this. All right, so we've already put one car seat in and I, I'm gotta be completely honest with you guys. So in like these SUVs, one seat usually has like a, a fold part and then the middle seat and then the other seat will have like another big one that folds down. So the back part is too short. It doesn't connect on the double seat, which I've already installed over there. But this one's gonna install great. So you basically just put the seat down Take these two straps and pull it around. Clip it. And then we'll push our seat back. And then there's another little one that will wrap around the headrest. And then you can just cinch it down to make it tight. All right, so we're gonna put Chai in her seat first. Wait. No. Come on. And then you can tighten it. Come on, Athena. In your bed. Good girl. You stay. Stay. Oh, big boy. He wants to get in. Good boy. In your bed. All right, the maiden voyage. All right. Here we go. Athena. Have a good trip. Thanks. Oh. Tubes. They have We're survived. <laughs> All right, so I am going to rate the doggy car seats an eight out of ten. Oh fuck. <laughs> What do you rate it? <laughs> How do you like them? Never trust Misty's ratings. <laughs> Leo almost choked himself. <laughs> well, okay, here's the thing. I think you have to train them um, so that they get comfortable in the car seat. Athena was fine. She was chill, chilling. No, actually, I don't think they'll fail because of the dogs. Yeah. Let's be real. You love having them in your lap. <laughs> yeah. They are, they're fun to travel with. Yeah. And it's not like you're going far. Right. It's like to the park and yeah. whatever. Yeah, it is safer, uh, somewhat. Yeah. Um, I think because... So Amazon purchases are based in 2023. You order, some things stick, some yeah. things don't. Um, I, 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 I'm I going to give these a 4 out of 10. Oh, wow. Harsh. And Harsh. Well, your pineapple was a 10 out of 10. <laughs> yeah, that the was pineapple good. one was... I don't think we rated it. But, yeah. But... Uh, 
to give credit to Rice these. cooker, 10 out of 10. Yeah. These are recent Amazon purchases that could have been a hit or miss. Yeah, I do think the car, the doggy car seats are eight out of 10. And I think that, um, I think that Leo, because he's such a big boy, the, the, I've trained them on the, uh, I don't even Show remember collar. the collar. Yeah. Um, and it's just, it's so that you can like pop it and then it kind of like gets their attention. It doesn't hurt them, but because he's like literally choking himself in the dog seat because um, the seat belt is so tight. So I think what I'm gonna do, I have like actual harnesses for him. So I'm traveling uh, when we go to the dog park and stuff, I'll put the harness on him so he's not choking himself. He'll get comfortable in that car seat. She's totally fine. She, She's gonna she likes it. Her. No. She jumps in your lap. She won't travel without being in your lap. Like she knows we're talking about it. <laughs> well, all right. Well, hey, it, we're we'll gonna see. try it. Yeah, yeah, time will tell. Yeah, we're gonna try. Yeah. All right. Good work. Eight out of ten, guys. I like it. Matt yeah. gave it a four. Four, four out of ten. We'll see who's <laughs> right. If they're still in your car in a month, that means you were right. Yes. <laughs> all right. Later. Good here. Good here. All right, Tubes, I want to thank you all for watching this video, showing your support. You guys, I appreciate it so much. Like I said before, it keeps me motivated, you know, all your comments um, to keep putting out YouTube videos, posting on Instagram and all that good stuff. Um, we are getting like into the grind here for Olympia. So I really hope you guys stay with me, stay the course because this is gonna fly by. This prep is going to just, it's already flying by. So if there's anything you guys wanna like know more about, like with the stuff I'm doing, like for this prep, please leave it in the comments below so that I can, you know, address specific things you guys are wondering. And again, I just really guys appreciate all the support, whether you support me, you know, with um, the companies I'm associated with, uh, Axe and Sledge, The Chicken Pound, Flexibella, Inspire Brand, Flavor Gang. Um, use, you guys using my code supports me, so I appreciate it so much. And again, uh, thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Oh, Athena, good boy. Good weenies, good weenies.